Petra is an ancient city in southern Jordan that was formerly known to its locals as Rakhmu or Rakhm. In a basin surrounded by mountains that forms the eastern flank of the Araba Valley, which runs from the Dead Sea to the Gulf of Aqaba, it is next to the mountain of Jabal al madba As far back as 700 BC, people have lived in the region around Petra, and as early as the 4th century BC, the Nabataeans may have founded what would eventually become their kingdom's capital. Only Nabataean presence evidence from the 2nd century BC onwards has been uncovered by archaeology, by which time Petra had become their city. The Nabataeans were Arab nomads who invested in Petra by turning it into a significant regional economic hub because of its closeness to the incense trade routes. The Nabataeans made a significant profit from their trade, and Petra was where they concentrated their wealth. The Nabataeans were able to fend off attacks by taking advantage of the area's rocky environment because, unlike their attackers, they were used to live in the desolate deserts. They were especially adept at farming, stone carving, and collecting rainwater. When the al Khazna structure, which is thought to be the mausoleum of the Nabataean king Aretas IV, was built in the 1st century AD, Petra flourished and reached its peak population of about 20,000 people. The Sik, a 1.2 kilometer or 3.4 mile long gorge that connects to the Khazna immediately, is the only way to reach the city. Petra, known for its water conduit system and famous for its rock cut architecture, is also known as the Rose City due to the color of the stone used in its construction. Since 1985, it has been a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Petra is one of the most significant cultural resources of man's cultural heritage, according to UNESCO. One of the new seven wonders of the world in 2007 was al -Khazna. Petra is both Jordan's most popular tourist destination and a symbol of the country. For the first time, the number of visitors exceeded 1 million in 2019 when it peaked at 1.1 million. The COVID-19 pandemic devastated the city's tourism industry, but it quickly recovered and reached 905,000 visitors in 2022. Hellenistic architecture is one of Petra's most distinctive features. This kind of architecture may be seen on the tomb facades in Petra, which also allows for reflection on the various cultures that the Nabataeans traded with. The majority of these have niches and little graves etched into the stone. The treasury, which is 24 meters or 79 feet wide and 37 meters or 121 feet tall and is reminiscent of Alexandrian architecture, has perhaps a more overt connection to the Hellenistic style. Two obelisks seem to form into the rock at the top of the treasury's front, which has a broken pediment with a tholos in the center. Greek gods Castor and Pollux, who guard travelers on their trips, are located close to the bottom of the treasury. Two victories are seen towards the top of the treasury, one on either side of a female figure on the Tholos. This woman is thought to be the Isis Taichi, with Taichi being the Greek goddess of luck and Isis being the Egyptian goddess. The monastery, the largest monument in Petra and another structure cut into the rocks, is a notable example of the Hellenistic architecture present in Petra. Its dimensions are 45 meters or 148 feet tall by 50 meters, 160 feet. Similar to the treasury, this building's exterior has a broken pediment and another central tholos. The monastery combines aspects of Greek and Nabataean architecture with a stronger Nabataean influence. Its entryway, which is 8 meters or 26 feet high, is the only source of light inside. Outside the monastery, a sizable area has been purposely leveled off for worship. This was a location of Christian worship in the Byzantine era, but it is now a sacred spot that pilgrims visit. The most ornate ruin in Petra, commonly referred to as al -Khazna, the treasury, is perched at the head of the narrow ravine known as the Sik. The face of the building, which is still in astonishingly good shape, has been shot hundreds of times by Bedouin tribes in the area who thought the edifice might contain hidden treasure. 
A large theater located to provide the most tombs with a clear view is located a short distance away from the treasury at the base of the mountain known as Ennair. The location of the settlement is strikingly shown at the point where the valley widens into the plain. Several of the graves and the hillside were cut into by the theater's construction. The seating still has rectangular gaps in it. Rose-colored mountain walls, divided into groups by deep cracks and lined with knobs cut from the rock in the shape of towers, almost completely enclose it on three sides. In the theater, there could fit about 8,500 people. Poetry readings and plays were the performances that spectators might see here. Gladiator bouts were also rumored to take place here and draw the largest crowds, but due to the high mortality rate associated with them, no gladiator was able to achieve any momentum or notoriety. The 363 Galilee earthquake in Petra severely damaged numerous buildings, including the theater. At the peak of Jebel Madba Mountain stands the high place of sacrifice. The trailhead is close to the theater in Petra. The high place of sacrifice is about an 800-step climb away from there. There was libation, which is a popularly held sacrifice that occurred there. Animal sacrifices were also frequently performed there. This is because Muslims consider Petra to be a holy site because it is where the tomb of the prophet Aaron is located. An annual goat sacrifice was made in recognition of this. There were apparently other rites performed there, such as the smoking of frankincense. The royal tombs of Petra showcase Hellenistic construction as well as the distinctive artistic style of the Nabataeans, but their exteriors have deteriorated owing to natural degradation. The palace tomb, one of these tombs, is thought to be the final resting place of the Petra kings. In close proximity to the palace tomb, the Corinthian tomb also features the same Hellenistic design as the treasury. The silk tomb and the urn tomb are the other two royal tombs. The urn tomb is more distinctive than the silk tomb. The urn tomb, which has a sizable yard in the front, was converted into a church in 446 AD following the spread of Christianity. The beginnings of a very big, previously undiscovered monumental edifice were discovered in 2016 by archaeologists using satellite photography and drones. The beginnings were tentatively dated to about 150 BC when the Nabataeans started their public building program. It is situated south of the city center, outside the main area, at the foot of Jabal and Mare, but it has no obvious connection to the city as it faces east rather than west. The building consists of a massive platform measuring 184 by 161 feet or 56 by 49 meters, with a grand stairway running down its eastern side. The enormous platform surrounded a little smaller one that was topped by a relatively small structure that measured 28 by 28 feet, 8.5 by 8.5 meters, and faced the stairs in the direction of the east. The edifice, second in scale only to the monastery complex, likely served a ceremonial purpose for which the experts have not even supplied a hypothetical interpretation. There is a semi-arid climate in Petra. Winter is when it rains the most. Petra's yearly mean temperature is 15.5 degrees Celsius, 59.9 degrees Fahrenheit. Every year, there is about 193 millimeters, 7.60 in of precipitation. 